Hello guys, welcome back to our new video and today we are back with yet another new student that is Rohit Kumar and he has just been placed with TCS Prime with a package of 9 LPA and uh, we congratulate you Rohit, welcome to Talent Battle once again. Thank you Justin sir for inviting me to this video. Uh, thank you, thank you and Rohit we are happy to see you here and uh, placed at such a big package and with a very good organization, uh, we are very happy for you. And best of luck uh, for starting your career with TCS. So today Rohit is with us to share each and every information regarding his hiring process so that it could help the other students, those who are preparing for the same company, like how they can get and what are the pros and cons or what are the strategies which Rohit followed and which other must follow to crack this particular company. Okay, so Rohit, shall we start? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. great. So Rohit, uh, you can start with your uh, formal introduction so that our audience must know about you. Yeah, sure. Uh, so as you all know, I am Rohit Kumar Choudhury. I am currently a fourth year student and I am pursuing my B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from Sri Guru Gobind Singh Institute of Engineering and Technology Nanded, which is an autonomous institute of government of Maharashtra. And I have done an internship from IIT Jodhpur in Machine Learning. And currently I am pursuing an internship in Just Logic Private Limited. And I am currently working as Flutter. In my leisure time, I have built many projects, such as one project which is based on account system, uh, which uses app script in the background. I have created one uh, static website using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and few of the framework uh, like uh, React.js and all. And um, also, I am a uh, president of a personality development club at our college. And I have many hobbies, uh, such as reading scriptures, uh, playing musical instruments, and reading uh, spiritual books. Nice to hear about you, Rohit, and and very much uh, glad to know that you are having internships and projects uh, in hand because that are the major aspect. Like they are can, can taken as the added advantage, right? So exactly. Yes. So let us start about your particular drive of TCS Prime. So first question to you, Rohit, is like was it an on-campus or off-campus drive? Yeah, it was an on-campus drive, which was launched for only priority institution. Okay. And uh, okay, so how many students actually participated for this particular drive? And wh what was the eligibility criteria? Was it same as uh, like TCS and QT or it was some separate eligibility criteria? No, exactly. Uh, the same uh, eligibility criteria as the TCS and QT. You should have minimum six uh, CGPA. You should not be having any active backlog during the selection process and some things here and there. But the eligibility criteria was same as NQT only. Okay, okay. So, how it is different from TCS and QT? Uh, it is much simpler. Okay. Uh, in TCS and QT, you are sitting in front of a computer and solving many multiple problems. And sometimes mm -hmm. the problems are of too high level. So you can solve a gate question, but not an NQT question. But when it comes to interview, it is more of personal. Uh, the interviewer, he will be more of interested in your uh, daily dealings, how you use your personal activity. Because he has already evaluated your technical part. The technical interview is just for the purpose that he wants to evaluate your project. Uh, what are on-ground things you have? Can you solve a problem given at a time? So this for this instance, uh, the technical interview will be there. But the more important, they focus on managerial aspect. That whether this per uh, person is properly suited for our uh, job profile that we are offering for. Whether mm -hmm. he is flexible. Can he adapt, uh, adapt uh, multiple things? For that reason, they are uh, giving us an interview. Now. Okay, okay. So how many rounds were there? in this particular drive? Uh, basically, TCS every year conduct just one round. That is, there will be three panelists sitting in front of you, the technical recruiter, the managerial recruiter, and then next comes the HR. But this year, they have conducted two rounds. The first round was technical plus managerial, and the second round was the HR round. HR round was more of just a 10 to 12 minutes round. They were verifying all our documents that we have stated in front of them. Okay. First of all, basically, like you have to clear the online assessment of TCS and QT, right? And then you can enter into the interviews part. Exactly. Around 350 students from our college, they were, uh, they got the opportunity to appear for TCS and QT. And out of them, only 80 students qualified for the interview. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. So let us start from the very beginning of TCS and QT as well. Okay. So like how many sections were there in the TCS and QT? Uh, TCS and QT have mainly three sections. The first is the foundation section, mm -hmm. which consists of uh, around uh, 20%, 65 questions. 
20 will be question from numerical ability 20 questions from the logical reasoning and 25 questions from uh, this verbal ability and the section will last for around 75 minutes the okay. next section come which is an uh, advanced section uh, we can say advanced aptitude mm. so these advanced aptitude they have not mentioned anything very rigid that uh, this mm. many question will come the question can be variable and time can be also be variable okay. so this time they were having uh, 14 question in the advanced section and question were uh, about level 3 and level 2 question and they offered us 32 minutes to solve all those questions and okay. the next section was the coding section in which they mm. offered two questions so initially it was decided that we will be getting around 30 to 30 60 minute or one hour for solving mm. coding questions but uh, they gave us 90 minutes to solve those two questions the first question was a very easy basic mm. one and second question was of around uh, easy moderate level or we can term it as easy only so most okay. of the students who were uh, very good at programming they could solve all the question in 30 minutes okay so any specific topics or any specific questions you remember from uh, the aptitude part first of all i would like to say uh, that were most repeated or you think like that are the most important for tcs any topics see the talent matter has already given us the list that what all topics we should follow so if you just follow the plan uh, which has been posted by talent but that is uh, more than enough uh, to be more specific there were questions from uh, time work then some questions were on time uh, system, types and system. I could remember only those two topics. In verbal, there were error correction, uh, find out. Uh, and I don't remember so of anything in the uh, verbal. And for mm -hmm. logical, there were few questions on uh, blood relation and some uh, trivial topics. Okay, okay. Uh, no issues. And from coding part, like you, uh, you said there were two questions. So do you remember those two questions or the topic? Yeah. Hmm. The first question was a simple input output question. You have to accept a matrix as an input and you have to output as a lower triangular matrix. So, this could be many students solve using a matrix or a, a 2D array. Many students can solve it without using array also. And, second question was of uh, uh, we have to encode a string in a particular format. So, we have to ex uh, accept a, a string of len s and then we have to put all the elements of the string in a matrix and then we have to transpose it and print it out. Some conditions were also given over there. We could match all this condition and the answer was very easy. Okay, okay. And were you able to answer all the questions? Uh, yeah, the coding questions were especially very easy for me. I could answer those questions in 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, and talking about the MCQs, about aptitude, or were there any other MCQs from computer fundamentals like OOPS, DBMS? No, no, no. No, MCQs never, uh, just no MCQs from computer fundamentals. Okay, and was there any negative marking? No, there was no negative mark. Okay, okay. So that was all about TCS and QT, right? Hmm. So how many students uh, cleared this TCS and QT out of those uh, 350 of around, students? Uh, around 350 students were uh, supposed to give NQT, but around hmm. 280 or uh, 270 students were appearing for NQT exam. And okay. out of them, around 80 students cleared the interview, uh, came for the interview. So Rohit, any suggestions after the first online test, uh, after the TCS NQT, what are your suggestions, like how students can enter into TCS Prime? Uh, the thing that I found important in TCS NQT was that uh, this time they have given more importance to the coding problem. So those hmm. students who could clear all the two problems or can at least clear one problem and one problem was solved half, they were given the opportunity to interview for TCS Prime. And those students who can solve only one problem and they don't even attempt the second problem, they were present for digital interviews. The criteria keep on changing, but this was the trend uh, this year. Oh, so talking about the next part, now we'll start with the interviews. Like that was basically the difference uh, of TCS uh, NQT and TCS Prime. Okay, so talking yeah. about the interviews. So how many interviews were there? There were two rounds. So okay. The first was, I already mm -hmm. mentioned the technical mm -hmm. managerial and second was HR. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about the first round, your technical plus managerial. So how was the round and how many questions were asked? Okay. The technical plus managerial round was completely different from all of our, all the students. As far as uh, myself is concerned, they only asked me two questions in technical part and rest mm. of the whole interview was for managerial. Okay. Uh, the two questions that they asked me was the first uh, and uh, the most shocking part for us was that they never asked us any introduction. As soon as we entered the room, Okay. They directly asked for our resume, then mm. they scanned the resume for a minute or so, and then mm. started asking questions. So many students have encountered questions on their project, their internships, mm. and their 
and if they are not having any internship and project then the, they were bombarded with uh, some computer technical questions okay so it is a plus point that if you have a internship or a project in your resume then you are on the safer side because the question will be asked from their side only yes obviously and they were most ha uh, and mostly they were concerned that uh, whatever uh, whether you are confident with your uh, small knowledge on they were mm. asking about that they will ask you which subject you are at good at and then mm. they will ask the questions from there only they will not divert you Mm-hmm. as far as me is concerned uh, they asked me one question that uh, what is the hardest program that you have solved yeah, till now okay so i gave them one question that this is the problem i was facing this was a program and i i have i was facing problem at this particular step so say uh, can now you solve this problem now say, i can try then they gave me they handed over me a rough piece uh, mm-hmm. one white paper and a pencil and they they said that uh, solve this problem so i could solve this problem in 7 8 minutes and they were happy with the solution Okay. and then they directly shifted to a puzzle they mm. shared that uh, th- this is one puzzle uh, there is one puzzle the, there is uh, the four square made up of match sticks and you have to move minimum number of sticks and rearrange those sticks and you have to convert those four square into three square so i did some uh, trial over there and i could give them the sub optimal solution and then mm. they offered me a hint that uh, could you try like this then i i was able to try it and the solution was provided to them they were happy for the solution okay and there were multiple uh, questions uh, the discussion was on chat gpt and mm. now uh, generative ai around mm. 10 to 12 minute of the interview was on uh, chat gpt and generative ai they were asking what are the benefits what are the problem could chat gpt replace the programmer and different questions around that okay so how was your overall experience after this interview how can you rate your yourself on this Yeah, as far as the technical round is concerned, I could rate five out of five, but mm. in managerial round, I could rate three point five to four because I could answer much better in a way that they were expecting. Uh, okay. The managerial question was simple: that uh, could you shift at this place? Could you work mm. on this project? Then why do you want to choose TCS? So these were uh, the questions, the traditional question that they every time ask. Okay. So overall experience about the interview now, like uh, was it a moderate level or a hard level? interview uh, it was it was on a moderate level but depend completely on you if you are mm. too confident and you are going inside the room and you are over exaggerating your achievements then surely uh, the interviewer will catch that and they will mm. ask you multi ask you multiple hard questions mm. so there were my few friends they just gave some vague answers and the interviewer were not happy with them so they were asking questions from dynamic programming and these all things so at that time they faced uh, many difficulties mm. so if you are confident you are respectful and you are not uh, exaggerating your skills then the interview is of moderate level for you okay nice nice to hear that rohit and what suggestions you would like to give at this point uh, point of time uh, after clearing the technical part and the managerial round to the students like what should they prepare as first suggestion you mentioned very di- n- nice like they must not fake with their resume they must mention uh, each and every correct detail about their internships and projects what other things you would like to suggest the first important thing would be yes. that uh, you should be thorough with your resume the mm. the one question that hr ask me is that whatever information you have mentioned in your resume is right or not mm. so you should be thorough with your resume and try to build up some small small projects even it is a static website on html css and javascript you can mm. even put that thing in your resume because interviewer will be happy that you are done you have done some work and they mm. could ask questions on that and second uh, you could visit uh, some of the website in the internet and go through some puzzles that mm-hmm. uh, what are the interview puzzles and how what are the approaches to solve them that will really help in that and that be confident and be genuine with your answer next nice. okay thank you rohit so moving further to the last round uh, the third round so how was that and what type of questions uh, were asked the hr round was completely a shocking part for us uh, the hr was asking very vivid questions to all of us so as soon as i entered with carrying my file to him uh, mm. he offered me a seat and he asked what is the name uh, what is the meaning of name bhuit <laughs> so okay. many students were uh, clear bold at that time because mm. many students were not knowing the uh, meaning of their name but mm. fortunately i was knowing my name meaning so i could answer that question then he was happy that uh, with the answer and then second question that he asked me uh, before going to interview they had made a sign a uh, declaration form that all the criteria that they are mentioning forward us that you should have 6 gpa you should not have any active backlog so we have signed a document and handed over to them 
so at that time the same document was present in front of hr so hr called us uh, when i was in the interview hr uh, shown me that document and told mm -hmm. me uh, you know this document i said yes uh, i signed this document in the morning then he asked me what is the meaning of declaration okay i I I just gave them that declarations mm -hmm. are the terms and conditions uh, stated forward by the company and mm -hmm. few more things here and there. Uh, and then he told me the importance of time management because I I was two minutes late for the interview. Uh, okay. This is the most important tip. Please mm -hmm. don't go late for the interview. He says <laughs> right. he's very serious about the punctuality. Okay, okay. He told me about time management. And the last question that he asked me was, uh, "Do you have any questions for me?" Mm -hmm. So he repeated this question thrice. So I I was able to ask three different questions to that person. Okay. All questions were out of the box. We we can say. Ha! This time hmm. only the last question. Do you have any question for me? This was the only inline one. Ha! Inline one. Yes, because I whenever I am interacting with the students, a place the students. So this is my common question. Like, uh, was there any out of the box? But this time, considering your interview, H R round, and I think all the questions were uh, new to this. Okay. So. This time we were. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Please. Ha, this time we were having age. Ha. This time we were having edge because uh, most of um, uh, almost all the time TCS will ask you the questions on the latest technology. But mm -hmm. currently we are living in the era of generative AI. Then 101 mm -hmm. percent we are sure that the questions will be on generative AI. Then mm -hmm. also we some prepared few other topics like uh, you can prepare blockchain, mm -hmm. then artificial intelligence, machine mm -hmm. learning, and few things here. here the whatever uh, Kubernetes, Docker, you can prepare all these things also. They also might help you in the interview if some question comes. Then we don't have to say that uh, I don't know, sir. They can hmm. answer something. Okay. Any other any other suggestions you would like to give, Rohit? Any common mistakes much... that students were making around you? Uh, those who could not clear. Huh. The common mistake I could find is that uh, hmm. whenever the question was given to them, they hmm. were trying that uh, I was not. They were not interacting with the HR uh, hmm. with the interviewer while solving that question. The mm -hmm. most important thing that we should do while solving a question is that at every step I should be uh, writing that step properly in my paper, and then I should be interacting that whether I am going in that direction or not. What is my approach to solve this problem? So they will offer us suggestions also, and mm -hmm. they will uh, express their uh, expectations also that uh, no, you should not go this direction. You should go at this direction. But mm -hmm. many of my friends they were not interacting with the HR, and they were very straightforward in that approach. That I think the HR uh, the interviewer did not like that approach. Okay. Okay, so that was your last round. After that, uh, your off you got your offer letter, right? Uh, nothing like that. But uh, after the last round, they told us just to go. Uh, mm. we can we are done with the interview. You can go now. So mm. after I left, uh, I got a mail around three days after the mm. from TCS only. They okay. wanted some documents and they have written a small congratulation message that you have cleared the interview. We want some document for our verification. So okay. the documents are already given to them. Hmm. Few days they may provide the offer letter. Okay, okay, that's nice. So congratulations, Rohit, once again, and uh, thanks for sparing your time and coming to Talent Battle to for sharing your valuable experience with us. Hopefully, this video will would be helpful to those those who are still in process also, or those who are preparing, or uh, the batch of twenty twenty five as well, because those students will hmm. also get an insight from your video, and uh, hopefully, yes, for sure, and. Uh, uh, once again, we wish you good luck for your future and uh, thank you. Anything you want to say thank at the so end? Much. Just keep hustling and just prepare a good timetable and follow, stick to that timetable. If you're genuine with your things, if you're genuine with your hard work, then surely everything will go very much fine because uh, the Isaac Newton said that uh, nature likes simplicity. Mm, great. If you're simple, if you're genuine with things, then surely everything will go in line. Great. So thank you everyone for watching the video till the end and uh, we wish you uh, best of luck for your placements as well. And if you have any queries related to placement uh, opportunities or how you can clear this particular drive or for any company, you can just comment us below or you can reach out to us on our official website so that our mentors can help you out and keep watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the further updates. Thank you.